This week's historic meeting between North and South Korea is easing tensions about a possible threat at next month's Olympic Games. The North announced on Tuesday that it will take part in the Winter Games after the first inter-Korean talks in over two years. The country is expected to send a delegation of nearly 500 people to Pyeongchang in South Korea. And now President Trump says that he'd also be willing to meet with Kim Jong-un under the right circumstances. For a closer look at the role the Olympics has played in these negotiations, we are joined now by Joel Buzu. He is the president of Peace and Sport, as well as an Olympic bronze medalist. And he joins us now from Monaco. Thank you so much for joining us, Joel. Nice to meet you also. And uh, I am also the president of the Olympians in the world. Very good. Right okay, so this year's Winter Olympics in South Korea, uh, already off to pretty much a historic start, thanks to these um, these talks. How significant have the games been to these negotiations between these two countries? I think the, uh, sport is universal today. It's a world language, and uh, the Olympic Games are the the biggest uh, universal competition uh, linking everybody on the on the planet. So uh, I think it's a fantastic uh, vector for co uh, contributing to to peace in a very concrete way. What role will your organization play in next month's games? Oh, so I have two hats, uh, Peace and Sport and uh, and the Olympians. Uh, with Peace and Sport, we have been active before the Games uh, by uh, strengthening the connection between uh, athletes from the from the two countries, whatever it was through table tennis, for example, in 2011 in Qatar, where we organized uh, mixed teams uh, competing together, uh, but also through uh, what we call the World uh, Wide Campaign, uh, white card campaign, where the the athletes are are showing through a, through a white card uh, that, uh, like you know, you have the red card in football or the or the yellow card. We have a white card for peace, so it's very easy to to do, and it symbolizes peace and it brings people together. So we are doing uh, campaigns like that just to to keep the links between the athletes and give the possibilities uh, to the leaders to. Uh, to come and watch sport when they cannot talk about anything else. They start talking about sport and then they can uh, maybe uh, raise other issues. Back in 2007, Joel, your organization also helped facilitate a meeting between Israel and the Palestinian territories. Can you explain what that process was like and will you have a similar approach this year? Uh, first, this year, it is, uh, it is really uh, the result of the Olympic Games, which will uh, create the possibility for dialogue. In 2007, it was uh, also a test for peace and sport itself. We wanted to, to see if uh, sport was, uh, was a reasonable and practical and realistic tool to bring uh, divided uh, people together. And uh, it uh, leads to, uh, at this time, we had a three-month negotiation, which... Uh, each of the part uh, to the point that uh, since they were going to make declaration, uh, each uh, party wanted to see what the other would uh, would do. And uh, in fact, it was a fantastic uh, diplomatic uh, exercise. But at the end, it works. And it works because uh, people happen to know each other, even if they are from a really difficult uh, and different uh, point of view uh, on many aspects of their of their problems. They happen to know each other. They, has, they happen sometimes really to respect each other. And even uh, diplomats or uh, uh, leaders uh, accept to... Uh, to, 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 to jump and, uh, and finally to, uh, to discuss and, uh, and to shake their hand and maybe to establish uh, some diplomatic connections after. Here's the thing about sport, which I find, this is what I find so fascinating. So you might not know this, Joel, but so I live in Philadelphia. Vlad lives in New York. The Philadelphia Eagles, NFL football team, and the Giants are huge rivals. In fact, people are really <laughs> passionate about sports. I've seen grown men cry over a sports match, and you would think in many ways Sports can actually divide right. because people are so wound up Passionate. about it. What is it about the way you approach sports that makes it so conducive to establishing talks beyond just the game? What, what you say is very true. Uh, sport can bring the results uh, we want, but uh, it depends how, how you use it. And uh, so 
what is great with sport is that the the athletes are role models. Uh, whatever they want, uh, if they are in the media, they can be uh, positive or negative role models. So we capitalize on the positive role models. We capitalize on uh, considering that uh, sport is a universal and world and neutral, which is very important, language. And from that language, uh, you play volleyball in uh, the same way in all parts of the world. You play football in the same uh, way uh, everywhere in the world. From, from that language, we create dialogue. And we have fantastic uh, ambassadors when they have understood that uh, the lines can move if they are uh, playing the game uh, in the way we are uh, uh, teaching them to play. The, the athletes are the role models and they, are the, they, have, the capacity, they have the capacity to be a catalyzer for, for peace, absolutely. They could be the opposite, but we are driving them in that direction. And a lot of them do it uh, naturally. Others need some uh, teaching. But at the end, uh, it's, uh, we change the, the mentalities on the ground. We infect uh, the brains and the minds with uh, positive feelings and, uh, and with peace at the end. I love it. Uh, Joel, before we let you go, you yourself are an Olympic medalist. You won the bronze medal in the pentathlon during the 1984 games in Los Angeles. And I wonder, because a lot of our viewers may be too young to remember that those Olympics were boycotted by the Soviet Union back then because the United States had boycotted the 1980 games in Moscow. Um, and I wonder if that perhaps has shaded your experience when it comes to trying to bring people together, the fact that these two superpowers uh, did not agree, they could not put their differences aside to play a game. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I was, uh, I had, uh, you know, before anything, uh, I have friends all over the world, and that's what uh, any Olympian, any champion has all over the world through sports. So if the best are not there, or if some of them, even if they are not the best, are not there, uh, we are frustrated, even if we get a medal and if we know that maybe we could not have uh, got a medal if some people uh, would have been there. Uh, but what is great today is that there is no boycott and uh, sport has become universal and strong enough to be above that. And this is what we should uh, uh, push uh, all the time, the neutrality, the universality of sport, the capacity for the role models to influence the youth, to uh, break the hatred, those they have inherited, and to, uh, and to realize that uh, uh, we are all citizens of the same planet. Very nice. Joël Bozou, merci beaucoup. My pleasure. Thank you.